Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Wired Wednesday, where the only thing wired is your hosts. Today I have hanging out with me, Casey. What's up everyone, how are you doing? So uh, let's talk about this thing here called Plex. Uh, the One of the people behind Plex got in contact with us and wanted to do, uh, share a little bit about their program. And I am a big media guy. Yes. I love home theater equipment and I love home theater PCs. And uh, I'm a big fan of Cody, as you all know. But there's another player in the game that's actually originally started off its life as a fork of Cody, or as it was called at the time, XBMC. And uh, that's Plex. Now they've basically taken, gotten away from that, and they have their own code base and whatnot. But uh, Plex is two parts. It comes in a media server, and it comes in a front end. The front end is a lot like Cody. You install it on your computer, and you play your media and things like that. But where it really shines is its server. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how that works. If you take a look here, we're on uh, Plex's website. That's Plex.tv. And I have set up a Plex server on my home theater PC at home with my own media library. And once you do that, and if you subscribe with a Plex Pass, which is a few bucks, uh, you get access to a lot more features. Uh, namely... Instead of being able to just do things in your home network, you can uh, log in with your Plex Pass anywhere in the world and be able to view your media, which is really cool. Yeah, before uh, we were getting ready to shoot this video, we were streaming some stuff, and he's actually streaming this from the town next down from us, which is probably a mile away, you'd think, or something like that. And right. the quality is amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm happy with this. And, and this here, if you can see, I have an episode of That 70s Show. Mm -hmm. Uh, which I actually recorded off of my own television system because I use an HD Home Run. Now, a while back, Plex partnered with HD Home Run to do a DVR. And in fact, I'll get back to that. But first, let me just show you how this works. Uh, once you log in, you can have a couple of different servers available, including a Plex Cloud, which means you could upload things to you, like your Dropbox and have it all streamed in there. But I have it running on my, my TV server at home. Uh, which is just an old Optiplex Dell computer. And uh, I have an episode of That 70s Show I recorded. And as you can see, I started watching it a little bit already, and I can resume it, or I can just start it from the beginning. And this is where it started recording from. So you can take Futuristic a look here. Futuristic cartoon could ever keep me from you. <laughs> see, look at that. That's running right in the browser. Uh -huh. Jackie, you need that's, to And that's what first caught my eye. It's running right from the browser, and it's run, running from Jay's house. Yeah, that's running right from my house, and I don't want to keep uh, keep playing too much just because I'm afraid of getting a copyright flag, but take a look here. Here's an episode of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, which is awful, but my kids like it, so, <laughs> so I have a copy of that. You know, here it is. Uh, you know, it takes a minute. It's got to transcode things. It's got to send it over the network, so it takes a minute to get where you need, where you need it to go, so you can't expect it to... Oh, you see, it says the connection to the server is not fast enough to stream this video. I got that error before, but sometimes it just seems to be uh, something goofy that if you try it again, it'll work. Yeah. But anyway, it's probably for the best because I don't really want to get a copyright flag. I was sitting here uh, playing on my phone, actually, with the Plex app and just streaming videos earlier today, and I've had no problems whatsoever. Unfortunately, where we live, the Internet is a little bit spotty, mm -hmm. so that's probably where that error comes from. But yeah. anyway... Uh, let's take a look at the, 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 the DVR feature a little bit better. Now, if you have an HD Home Run Prime, which I do with the, the video cable card, you can you do your entire cable system. And uh, we gave one of those away a while back, and it's a great product, and I recommend you check it out. But check it out here. So you can go to the program guide. And the thing I don't love about it is it doesn't have a traditional like grid pattern TV guide. It just offers like shows. Mm-hmm. You see here, so you kind of have to go through here and kind of know what you want. I mean, you can browse somewhat, but, like, it'd be easier to say, I want to watch um, iZombie. You've heard us talk about that show. We both love that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Say I want to start recording iZombie. Now, keep in mind, I'm a town away right now, and I'm doing all this on my home network. So ju just to be uh, clear on this, basically this takes it from your TV searches for newer episodes or whenever and, and whenever they air because yeah. I have the HD. And can you on. pick older episodes and stuff like that? Well, is it just newer? Right. You can actually mm -hmm. record all episodes or new airing only or new and repeat airings. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you just add it to your TV show library. Hmm. 
So you, I can sit here and decide, but you can also go to the advanced. You can change the resolution, HD only. Oh, nice. For example, if you have uh, – iZombie runs on the CW. Mm -hmm. It airs on the CW. If you would happen to have the CW in an HD and an SD, uh, if you set that to HD only, it will only record on the HD channel and will never record on the standard def channel. Nice. But you can also have it record on any, but you can check this little box here that says replace lower resolution items. So if it recorded the standard definition episode and you wanted it to re-record the higher definition episode, you can have that checked and it'll replace it whenever that airs. And that could work for anything in your library. Say if you were to have the Big Bang Theory on DVD and you've ripped it all and yeah. you ripped it all and it was kind of in a lower quality. Well, if it airs on an HD channel and uh, your HD home run has it picked up and it'll download or it'll... Uh, record that for you and replace the low definition variety with the other one it'll work so on there's a lot of options that's, oh absolutely that, that's good because that personally for me is a selling point with anything like this is options what can i do to help me personalize my experience and i think that's i think that's really cool that they did stuff like that really nailed it with that absolutely and you see like you can choose whether or not you want it allowed to have partial airings uh, basically what that would mean is if something's already in progress, will you allow that to happen or will you would rather it only get full episodes? So it gets pretty detailed. Oh yeah. You can choose like if you want it to start a minute before the episode to make sure. Oh, you, you can don't even pick when you want it. Yeah. I see that right yeah. there. It says minutes after. Oh, geez. right. Yeah. It's got everything. You can limit it to a particular channel. Mm -hmm. You can limit it to a particular airtime. Oh, see nice. like it airs on the CW at nine o'clock, but say if it had two, two separate airtimes, uh -huh. Uh, you could uh, do that. So it's nice. It already goes in there and looks when it airs, and it gives you the airtime and everything like that. Oh, yeah, the Jeez. DVR. And this is all beta, too, and it runs this well. Now, you have to have the Plex Pass to do mm -hmm. that. There is a small subscription fee for that. But uh, but in order to do the DVR stuff, you have, an, you have to have an HD home run. If it's an HD home run prime, you get your Makes entire Makes sense cable. why they teamed up then, yeah. Right. Uh, because that one works with the cable card. If you use one of the standard HD home runs, uh, that attaches to an HD antenna, and you can uh, do all your local over-the-air programming. And uh, like I said, you can do everything. You can choose how many episodes you want to keep, if you only want to keep them from the past three days or 30 days. Uh, delete episodes after watching. You can do that never after a day, after a week. You know, that's it. There, there's so many options here to do and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put uh new airings only for iZombie, and we're gonna go ahead and add that to my tv shows library yeah because we do like i zombie <laughs> yep, we'll do that and then you can look at your recording schedule and see what you have set to record i have that 70 show which i recorded and then i have i zombie now over here on the side you have a recording priority list now if you were to say have I zombie and then better call Saul. Mm -hmm. If those two were to air at the same time, you can actually drag these around and pick which one has the higher priority. Oh, nice. That, so yeah, that's, that's awesome. Right. So if better call Saul is more important to you than I zombie, you could take that and drag it and put it up top. More options. That's good. Right. That's very good. Right now an HD home run uh, prime has three tuners. So it likely won't cause a conflict, but if it does, mm -hmm. it's better to have your recording priority figured out. Seems like they uh, thought, and this is just beta. Uh, the the DVR part of it is beta. Yes, oh, you can wow. add playlists. I have not created any playlists uh -huh. yet, but uh, you can look at you know you even have music it said there and everything like that. Music, movies. Yep, it's everything like, you want, you can add it to their library. And it's wow, just, Tank Girl. Uh, I remember that movie. I love that movie. It's <laughs> terrible. <when I> <laughs> it's, it. it is terrible. <laughs> and adding things to your library is as simple as going over here, hitting this little plus thing. You choose what you want to add, TV shows, movies, music, photos, other videos. Like you, other videos would be good for your home movies. Yeah, I can see why you like this. And it is a, basically a huge, you know, just entertainment program, photos, all that stuff. Heck, if your family came over and you just went on vacation, you probably have all your photos on there and you can see them on the big screen and everything like that. That's awesome. Right. Now, I could take uh, other videos, for example. Say, say if I had my home movies. I could go browse from my media folder. This is actually my computer at home. It, oh, it's nice. running Linux. Oh, nice. And so, you can watch uh, Wired Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> so I could TV. go to my storage where I have things and go to my videos folder and add things if I wanted to. And you just hit add, and it'll scan it into your library. It'll find the metadata. Everything's included. Nice. So all in all, it's a, it's a wonderful program. You see, it shows what's going on. It has a nice... Uh, Nice little uh, log to tell you everything mm -hmm. that's happening. 
Nice. You've got various different settings you can choose anytime. You can uh, enable remote access, is what we did. Uh, you can change what channels you have. Everything. Languages. Nice. Yeah. Yep. And uh, to enable the DVR, you just go here, DVR beta, and just enable it. Hmm. And nice. you can see here with the HD Home Run Prime, you can even set it to transcode videos while recording. All sorts of options. Jeez. And all these things. You can even have it set to do the minutes before start and the minutes after end by default. Mm -hmm. uh, say I want everything to record one minute late, early and one minute late. You can do that. Get those nice commercials. Yeah. <laughs> And if you really want to get technical, uh, for example, the, the DVR does not offer any kind of commercial skipping. You could uh, run something like ComSkip and actually put it in a post-processing script. So if it records something, you can have run ComSkip afterwards to delete the commercials out of it. And mm -hmm. it's like one of those hoppers from Dish Network. Oh, nice. God, lots of options, man. Yeah, it's really quite nice. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go back to our ugly faces here. <laughs> uh as you can see, Plex has a lot of different options, and there's a couple of different options that I saw that people have done that, frankly, I think are quite brilliant. Uh, there's people who take their media library that they've acquired through various means, whether by recording it or downloading it or ripping it from DVDs, and they share it with their friends and family. Everybody, if as long as you purchase a Plex Pass, you can uh, give your login and password to anybody who'd be able to pull those up and uh, view any of your media. However, I want to offer one bit of a warning. While I was doing some research for this article, <laughs> this poor unfortunate soul, who I will not name, uh, <laughs> he had a bit of a porn library <laughs> and somehow uh, scanned his porn library into Plex. So all of his friends, family, and neighbors that he has chosen to share, th <laughs> share his account with have all seen his grossest little fetishes. <laughs> Yeah, so be careful out there. <laughs> be people. careful what you do, because it might come and bite you in the ass, yeah. <laughs> or it might show that you like watching people bite you in the ass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so make sure whatever you scan, you're scanning carefully. But uh, yeah, you're definitely gonna want to check out Plex if you're into the same kind of things we are. Uh, if you have a big fetish for multimedia and uh, use an HTPC, you can uh, definitely see benefit from this. And it has to run on a real computer. Uh, mm -hmm. But that computer does not have to be a home theater PC. Uh, you can use, the for the front end of it, you can download the Plex app on, like, a Amazon Fire Stick and hook that into your TV, and it'll run. You'll be able to use it. Yeah, like, it ran great on here, and we just use this computer for recording. That's all we use it for. It's not that beast of a computer, and it ran really great. You saw the quality on there and everything like that. It's uh, It works really well. Yeah, the well. biggest problem we have is our Internet's kind of spotty here. Yeah, so. it is, because we live in the middle of nowhere. But other than that, it... <laughs> It, it is and like we said we'll, we're gonna get on social media and uh you know post some more information about it if you're interested all right so uh this has been wired wednesday we'll see you next time thank you have a good one bye-bye